Well, Cudlow, you know what I think of all this? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. All this Cudlow. nonsense, really. So, President Joe Biden on the warpath today. Now, this morning, he announced a good move to end special trade status with Russia. Essentially, if Congress goes along, the U.S. will boot okay. Russia out of the WTO, the World Trade Organization, and impose high tariffs on you. Russian we imports. We are okay, so traveling far, in that's good. either this but direction then, or as usual, this Mr. direction, Biden these went types the of directions. Now, he's still making the case We're actually going this that way. the 8% inflation problem and the $110 oil problem and the four dollars and thirty-three cents gasoline problem is caused by Vladimir Putin. No. So, folks, it's Putin's Duality. inflation. And then the president went on by saying, "From the moment of Putin's troop buildup on the Ukrainian border, according to Mr. Biden, the price of gas in January See, went up seventy-five you, you get a lot of why the way, the this is the Putin. way it to to is clarify. while trying Some to fix right stuff." Now. In January of Not that I've spent a lot of time doing it, and maybe these numbers should be ago, 3 and 7, not 6 and 10. Cents. I'm willing... This, 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 year, I, I lost October a little light in here. Year, I mean, this is squeaker too bouncing on me. <laughs> this bunny, now, look at November it. Look at his ears like this. Set it up, open the gate, let him in, a little fire for you, a little... Gasoline had gone to $3.41. Then January, when Biden was it's crazy though because you know you can. It's like oh, I need a mom and pop store, gas station, and yep, it gets a little bit more complicated than that. Than November, but when the Russian troops you ain't getting off this farm, but then three dollars and fifty cents in February, and of course today it's four dollars and Under three cents. Under a constant wire, up over. The moral of the story the drill, is yes, come back out. Gasoline has in fact popped around. about seventy-five cents from the late February <laughs> through mid-March today and the invasion unfolded yep. but before that for a year for more it's than a year gas oil prices forget. went up about a dollar or 40 percent and guess what between january 2021 and february 2022 okay. oil prices season, went up 39 bucks from 50 yeah, you know, you know there was back in the day when we were doing this it was like a year ago <laughs> and during That's this fun. time period which is roughly a year before the russian invasion and any real energy price impact, the U.S. CPI moved from two percent to seven and a half. I'm ready for it. Go, go ahead, Cuddle. Ask me I'm questions about Common Core. Ask me questions about energy. Month, go ahead. Ask me questions weeks, about the market. Gasoline and oh, oil price increase. Uh, right? No question. Hadn't really shown up yet in this February CPI. We will see it in the March CPI. But for Mr. Biden's sake, what about the prior twelve months? <laughs> Which is kind of missing from his analysis. Yeah, it's, that's the ah, that is what's no so killer about it because it's like I can't get else. off of the horse. We'll say different words that make me, me feel better. No, First, no, I'm not going to say better words that make you feel better. Two trillion dollars in the bill a year ago last March, and then massive money creation by the Federal Reserve, which enabled hmm. the deficit spending. The result: a massive increase Remarkable. of inflation starting way before Vladimir Putin's. <laughs> military invasion. This thing takes off up there. And as we learned from the February CPI report, which echoes the prior many months, prices are rising for everything. Goods, services, cars, housing, rents, There was supposed to be a way to do this. I this mean, is, I mean... That's not a function of me. the bumbling red army no, in Ukraine. The... That's a function of too much money chasing too few goods. And there's more. Biden's war against fossil fuels creating a regulatory octopus uh, nobody got a good way to do it and was like all right settle down industry. electric fence it's remember crazy metric scary out here. climate ideological zealots in FERC, interior energy sec well, it's EPA, supposed to be this it was, it was a thing back in the, the day House. i mean you never all know i mean you could be gray and have it and the world the production of new she gets moving gas around out lines. there and mr biden is wrong again hmm. on the keystone he said today it was not nearly finished. Bombs. Actually, very, industry very sources say construction could be completed roughly one year from now, and that would you take would see literally everything that filled into this frame right not because not because there's an arbitrary number more. of steps to it. So now we're no, stuck with more a major to inflation the, problem. Back. And more a major to the problem. the math, and there's no administration solutions in sight. 
and Mr. Biden will not take ownership it's of there. his failed they wrote in, policies. They, they laid this thing That's in there the really issue. good. One, two, one, two, X, Y, I P1, P2, PN. This is going to end yeah, I knew a lot of it, but this one drilled it home. But as always, and of course, I was working I this before that. The cavalry is coming. Or was I? Something like that. Yes. After. Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> it, gets, it gets wily in here. <laughs> 